Hey guys, welcome back to GeForce, I'm Julian. We talk a lot about gaming on this channel, but maybe you're a video editor and you want to know how an NVIDIA graphics card can enhance your workflow. To find out, our GeForce Garage team met up with Adam Epstein, editor for Saturday Night Live's film unit, to find out just how easily a GPU-enhanced rig can handle 6K and even 8K footage. Let's check it out. All right, so I've done some video editing in the past, but uh, never anything on your scale. So what can we, uh, what can we throw at this? Sure, let's uh, go open up Premiere. So we got some 6K footage here that's playing in a 6K timeline. And so we're at 6144 by 3072. It's a lot of pixels. Um, it's a lot of pixels <laughs> that are being pushed here. And let's play this back at half resolution, which isn't full, but is more that, than anyone is really gonna ever need, basically, when they're watching stuff back. So playing that back, and we're basically getting real-time playback here without any drop frames. I haven't rendered any of this, which is pretty impressive. Just being able to watch that while we're playing without it, without having to render, without it stuttering, that right there is an enormous time saver just from a productivity standpoint. Mm -hmm. Let's do something kind of cool. I would say we can copy this 6K footage and let's bring this into a 1080p, which is you know what most people are working on or delivering still. So right here we have like a 17 second clip, again, 6K in an HD timeline. Uh, I'll set my in and outs here and let's render into out. And so this is basically gonna take, according to the, it's, it can't even catch up to the numbers. So it says it's gonna take about 10 seconds on a 15 second clip, faster than real time on a 6K down convert to HD. That's pretty amazing. Okay, so how long would this sort of take on, on your last machine? Um, considerably longer, to say the least. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm not an engineer in the sense it'd be like, oh, it would take this amount of time, but I would say at least on 12 seconds here, probably like a minute and a half, two minutes, versus the wow. less than 10 seconds that this took. <laughs> That's a big difference. Um, it's crazy, and especially when you have like clients who are wanting you know, immediate feedback, yeah, um, being right. able to like have something, do it and get it done and get it out to show to them. It's an incredible time saver, and the nice thing about stuff like this is it lets you not really be focused on the technical aspect of it, and yeah. just kind of stay in the creative space and continue to be working ahead without having to slow down and kind of wait for the machine, basically. Wait for a progress bar. Exactly, yeah. exactly. All right, so uh, it can handle 6K. Do you have any 8K footage? 8K, my God, you're a crazy man. Um, <laughs> let's check some 8K, why not? Uh, so I got some 8K footage. This is from the new uh, Red Weapon that just came out. This is uh, some sample footage from Red. So again, if we look at our sequence settings here, we're looking now at 8192 <laughs> by 3456. We're gonna have a look at how this can play back. Again, this is native 8K straight from camera, playing back at quarter resolution, which again, when you're looking at it on a monitor, I don't think anyone really has an 8K monitor in their room right now. If they do, God bless. <laughs> but uh, in this case here, playing back 8K, unrendered at quarter resolution, and it's not stuttering at all. I'm just actually a curiosity one and just check something to see if it's even doable. And if it is, it would be kind of a cool thing. That's nuts. <laughs> All right, so what did you just do here? Okay, so, oh my God. All right, <laughs> so one of the nice things about this version of Premiere is the way that it deals with color. There's this Lumetri color panel, which allows you to set these really kind of cool uh, custom professional looks. They're usually very processor intensive because it is, you know, it's an involved effect. Um, so I just was curious to see whether or not you'd be able to throw something down there and play it back uh, without, again, rendering. So it's the difference here between, that's our raw footage, that's you know our kind of treated footage, a definite distinct look, and then again, if I'm playing back, 8K timeline, haven't rendered, still staying green <laughs> in the 8K, and that's pretty impressive. It's an amazing time to be alive, what can I say? <laughs> that's incredible. 